You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you done now. Your boy Brutal him on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So we all get straight to the news. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We're making a push for that 200k. It's on the way, and I ain't gonna lie, this news y'all could actually benefit from across the board. Now, first, let's start with the updates. Um, 2K did drop a patch yesterday, but sadly there is no patch notes this is probably the last two or three patches they drop with no patch notes man but i did see an update here but i doubt this is what the patch was about but of course i gotta let you all know what's going on they say my team some players who completed the cinco de mayo exhibition may have received a wild west deluxe pack which does not guarantee a pink diamond or higher player card so they got a few updates right here the first update is we are working on a resolution for affected players and the second update is affected players should now have received a replacement pack in your unopened packs to receive a pink diamond or higher player card now i went and checked myself i ain't gonna lie i don't play my team but i went and checked i think they gave me maxi from the sixers uh he's a pink diamond so that was a good free stuff i ain't gonna lie to you i might take a dabble in my team and play no money spent i might i got a bunch of nice packs it might be the elite packs but at least I might try that sometime later on my mobile device, man. I got it equipped here on my iPad and it plays pretty solid as well. So let me know what y'all think about it. Again, there is no patch notes, no official patch notes dropped by 2K yet. So as soon as they drop something, I will keep y'all up to date. Now, this is a situation where a lot of people could actually benefit from financially right here. Shout out to Winston Hill. He tweeted this at me. It's a lawsuit going around against 2K from arbitration client care at Milberg.com. He said claiming that they sold our information and you could get up to 50 to 2500 dollars now i had to do some research to get this up there i saw this on classaction.com it said welcome to classaction.com thank you for your interest milberg is pursuing arbitration claims against take two interactive software for using metapixel to track account holders purchase data and share it with third parties including meta which is facebook that all without users consent we believe this is a violation of the video privacy protection act which is vppa if this happens to you we believe you may be eligible to receive compensation for your damages melbourne can pursue these claims on your behalf we got our next article right here from classaction.com as well they say have you bought a video game from 2k.com for yourself or a child within the past two years they said if so attorney believes your private information may have been illegally sent to facebook which is matter and are now gathering individuals to take legal action check out our page to learn how participating players could have a claim worth 2005 now i went to melberg and i saw this one right here as well on nba2k.com users can browse every video game the publishers have to offer including popular series like nba 2k wwe 2k and borderlands but players be warned attorneys suspect that secret tracking tools may send Facebook, which is metadata about customers as they navigate 2k.com, including which video games they purchase and any private information they input into the site. Wow, that's that's interesting. The attorneys believe the VPPA may extend to the purchase of certain video games, specifically ones with cutscenes and are now gathering players to take legal action against 2K parent company Take-Two Interactive. And of course they say if you bought it again, then there are a few things that really jump out of me. Is 2K really how aggressive they were to get the vast majority of the community to accept the new terms and service, which of course have that section in there which tells, which says that you can't really participate 
in any class action lawsuits. That's the major thing right there. Now, I don't know how this worked out. Of course, you could probably reach out to them and see and tell them your situation as well. But um, this is interesting. This is interesting. Now, of course, I won't be doing it. So this is not for me, but that might be for you. If you want to get some money out of this, there is the opportunity right there, man. So shout out to Winston again for keeping your boy up to date. You know your boy gonna always keep you all up to date as well. So let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. And 2K, we need these patches, man. What y'all are doing with these patches, 2K? Come on, my G. Come on, my G. All we ask is when you change something on our game that we have an update on what is being changed, okay? That's all I ask. I'm, I don't think we're asking too much. Let me know if I'm wrong. But that's all I got for y'all today. Let me know what y'all think. How blessed one till next time. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace.